Welcome back to the show. Of course, it is officially summer here in Vancouver when the tents go up on the beach and you know you can catch some Shakespeare. Yeah, absolutely. There's some limited availability for all the shows and what a great lineup this year. Macbeth, King John, Taming of the Shoe and the Merry Wives of Windsor. We are joined by an OBC Order of British Columbia, Christopher Gaze. <laughs> uh, the Annunciation. Well, I know Hello. you're going, uh, you're doing a, a summer trip with Vicky Gabriel and, and a group of people and Vicky gets on me about my pronunciation of British Columbia. Columbia British Columbia. Yes. Yeah. Uh, tell us what you're doing with Vicky first before we get into... Oh, well, in, uh, in September 3rd to the 18th, my wife and I, Vicky Gabbro, are hosting this trip that starts in at the Bard, Britain bound with Bard it is, and 40 people will travel from Edinburgh <laughs> to the Lake District to Stratford-upon-Avon, Bristol, Bath, Southampton, into London, Globe Theatre, seeing shows all the way and the great sights of the UK. How fun. Yeah, there's actually, they could take a, uh, a couple of more people yeah. uh, if, any, if anyone's interested. Oh my God, well, I think what it a way fantastic. to see it. Yeah, and to, <laughs> to experience the yeah. whole thing, it'd be great. Uh, let's move on to uh, the lineup this year uh, at Bard. How do you decide on the plays? I mean, how much discussion goes into this is it is it is it a dictatorship or are you sitting down and going this 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 or it's a benevolent dictatorship there we Let's go. Face it. Let's <laughs> as all dictatorship yeah. should well, be but how do you decide you? no no i these days are more and more collaboration i think in days gone by i've, I've always had people in my life that i would go to and uh, discuss this with uh, Dean Paul Gibson, associate artistic director, yeah. talked a great deal Brilliant. with Dean. And my, my old mentor, Douglas Campbell, he died a couple of years ago. I always used to uh, talk to Douglas about it. But now I have an artistic goals group that I talk with. And uh, So what do you discuss? Like which play goes with what? Which ones complement one another? Which is a different variation for the audiences? What comes into play? All that. I mean, you've got to have a draw comedy off the top. You have to have that. And he wrote five, six, seven of those, and yeah. so it's going to be one of those. And, of course, this year it's Taming of the Shrew. Uh, my favorite. I was telling you earlier, I mean, this one is just, it's got so many beautiful layers. The language is incredible. Uh, the love triangles, broken misdirections, it's all over the place. Well, you know, you two would be absolutely perfect. You should play Kate. You should play Petruchio. <laughs> the hijinks you would get up. Christopher, yeah, okay, yeah. you But have... we don't want to fall in love at the end. Oh, That's no, it, no, yeah. no, You no. have heard us that. read Shakespeare before, and I'm sure your ears are still bleeding. I'm not sure if we're right for the cast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's talk about right. Macbeth, too. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Tell us about this production. Well, the, the great, the, our leading players in both those productions, we've got Lois Anderson and uh, John Murphy in, in The Taming of the Shrew, and Bob Fraser uh, and Colleen Wheeler as uh, Lord and Lady Macbeth. And these are phenomenal actors. Bob Fraser, he's played many of the leading roles and won a lot of prizes uh, mm -hmm. in the city because he's just extraordinary. This looks like a fairly traditional take uh, on, uh, yeah. on Macbeth oh, as well. totally. Yeah, totally. Do you and ever go avant-garde? Do you ever go modern with oh, the Shakespeare? Yes, or is that always? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, totally. Um, and uh, we take, for instance, our Merry Wives of Windsor. It, Windsor, Ontario, 1968. <laughs> and is so, that what you did this oh, year? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know and that. And looking brilliant. at the costumes oh and goodness. stuff. Look at them. When you do shake things up and make it modern, Christopher, how much fun is it for you and, and the rest of the crew to do the costuming and the music and everything else that goes, oh, goes on How with much? That? Look at this. And I this know. is Shakespeare. And uh, these boots are made for walking and uh, stand by your man. Don't get hooked on me. It's all in the show, but it's Shakespeare's play. Yeah. And then we just slot these bits in around. John Wright did it brilliantly, and uh, it's a uh, and, and um, I I should give a huge nod I think to Scott Bellis who plays Ford in that production and plays King John. Remarkable performance. Boy, that's a boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's I a know. big switch. That one. Crazy old jealous Ford, and then yeah, this um, the strong great, yeah the king. Uh, uh, my daughter uh, has a tradition that she does uh, for the past couple of years. She's 14 now, and every year she goes uh, with one of her grandparents, and they go to see one of the plays. And and this year, I think more than any other, she went to see Macbeth, and they're about to study it in school, and that's part of the reason they chose it. But she got it, I think, mm. for the first time. You know, mm. the political intrigue, uh, that timeless mm. tale of 
of power mm. and politic and all those things. Mm. And it was so cool to sit down and talk to her about it. Uh, and you must get that all the time now. People that grew up seeing it when they were younger, and now they're starting to bring their children and, and bring them into the fold of this. Yeah, and that's the whole pattern of uh, what we've created here in Vancouver. This is 23 years in now. This is a pretty profound Shakespeare festival. I think the city now, I think we feel like we own it. British Columbia, Vancouver, this is our Shakespeare Festival. They have the great Stratford, Ontario, the biggest yeah. theatre festival in North America uh, there, but uh, we're building this. And it's in a, that element of tradition that you allude to, Michael, is, is, is all over it now. You yeah. see, what a gift. Your daughter going age 14, she gets it. Yeah. She comes home, talks about it to you. Yeah. You can challenge her and discuss it and have it out. Talk about um, if you think it's misogyny in, in, yeah. in The Taming of the Shrew. Well, and, uh, uh, and the echoes of modern politics. Yeah. Echoes of modern politics, it, definitely in King John and all the plays and overreaching ambition and so on. And that's what people get out of these plays. It's the insight into who we are uh, in these fantastic stories that where people express it in such glorious ways, yeah. these incredible words. Let's talk about some of the special nights that you've got going on because right. it is a summertime tradition as well. The fireworks are coming up. What are you doing for the fireworks? Well, the Taming of the Shrew. You can't tell me there's tickets left for the fireworks. Well, there's, there's a few left yeah. uh, for <laughs> Taming of the Shrew. It's a big theatre, yeah. and uh, that's been a transfer. I, first of all, I'd, I'd like to talk about the, the firework nights. At, um, oh, there we go. There we go. Big fun. Um, Bernard Cuffling. Uh, I love Bernard. Isn't yeah. He Fantastic. He really is. I uh, love him. But the firework night, you get to see that show. Uh, over 700 people in that BMO main stage theatre. Then they're out. And go, it starts at 6 o'clock. Go out and have a uh, um, lovely salmon barbecue. Back in second half. Out. Dessert, coffee, and the fireworks go off all within the grounds. <laughs> what you can a night. What a night. You can see uh, The Taming of the Shrew or The Merry Wives of Windsor. And there's some tickets still available and for that. And if people haven't done that yet, it, is, it truly is a must. What a special night. Yeah. And that becomes a tradition for families yeah, and sure friends, does. anniversaries, birthdays, goodness knows Well, what. and talk about people and, and you know, the, the history and, and everything that runs through it. I mean, you've had actors that, that have been with you for, you know, 20 years I plus know, now. Uh, this has been integral to, to having people survive and thrive in the arts in the city and be able to do passion plays throughout, you know, the rest of the year and, and really sort of do things that that they want to because they can right. afford to do it. Uh, that, uh, that's right. They get the bard contract is almost six months, and that is music, magic. <laughs> that is a living for actors. Yeah. That makes it all work out. And then feeding those actors, when they play five or six months of Shakespeare, they are ripe and ready to play anything <laughs> yeah. they want Absolutely. for the Arts Club and all the other wonderful theatres in the city and, uh, and beyond. Well, Christopher, as always, thank you so much. Bard of the Beach goes on until September 22nd. You go to the website to get tickets, bardonthebeach.org. Uh, choose your night and just go enjoy it. And congratulations. The Order of British Columbia becomes official in September this year. Yeah. Well earned, my friend. Thank you. We're going to call you, That's sir. Nice. Thank you so even much. Even if it doesn't yeah, come even with that. We don't know if it comes with the honorary title <laughs> of sir. He's We're a sir in our minds. We're going to take a break.